good evening. Um, I am going to share uh, this workshop with you um, musicians. Um, workshop about art. I'm going to name this. Uh, I wrote it down somewhere. Art for Musicians. Uh, I know that when I was uh, studying music and uh, studying guitar and um, really delved into into uh, into learning music and getting into uh, into bands and audio engineering, I was really I was really drawn by by art, um, obviously because. Uh, Bands and musicians uh, have a lot of um, um, ha have a lot of need for design, graphics, um, fonts, um, music videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I always thought that as, as I was as I was approaching finishing music, uh, studying music, that um, not not finishing, but just continuing to uh, pursue a professional music career um, that I was going to have to eventually pay somebody or or find a way to create the album artwork. <clears throat> I think that uh, a lot of us as children, we are drawn to art and um, kind of by inertia. We, we love cartoons and color and uh, movement and when we're young we we, we pick up pencils and, and crayons and um, love to um, love to explore and uh, and uh, scrape the paper um, I don't know maybe maybe even coloring books you know I remember when I was young I had coloring books and I would love to um, color, yeah, it was it was a it was a it was a great activity, and a very a very beautiful thing when 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 you're a kid, you just kind of go for it, and there's you know nobody to tell you or your or your conscience to pull you back, telling you that something is attractive or unattractive or beautiful or or not beautiful. You just kind of you just kind of go with the flow and and express yourself um, later on we we, uh, we find a way to to you know, to get into other things you know we grow up and we don't want to uh, do we don't want to do childish things and become adults right um, however I think it's important that um, we educate ourselves Especially if we want to have interesting art within, you know, um, within our records, uh, our the the inner sleeve, which can be personal, because if we're, we're we're writing lyrics and we have um, not just lyrics but melodies that are um, our own, are of our own ideas of our own imagination, we would like to uh, have that. Um, illustrated somehow or um, compensated by visual um, visual aid or visual um, visual um, <laughs> visual so, any, anything visual that, that that could help the music excel or anything that anything visual that will help the music go forward or or help you uh, enjoy the experience more. Um, it's not our responsibility as musicians to um, to do any of this, right? We usually hire a graphic designer or uh, a, a music video director or um, an artist. An illustrator to to make our own artwork. Um, 
I've had I've had one experience doing this and was uh, wasn't content with uh, with the approach because um, it was it was too expensive for me. I could I couldn't afford it. I did like the work. I thought it was surprisingly surprisingly good. I think the the person I was talking to was a, a graphic designer, and he used software to to really uh, shape um, the band the band logo and to to add a sort of uh, uh, aerial 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 spatial environment um, on the album but then when he told me how much I had to pay him and, and I was like no no I can't I can't afford that it's way too I, I could barely I could barely afford the I could barely afford to make the record which I was making myself um, it was like a four song demo with with three other musicians and I, I I recorded everything. I didn't get I didn't get any compensation for it, but it was my my demo of, of of my 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 songs and well the the work as a as a as a frontman that I was doing with these other three people. Um, but the graphic the the, the graphic design uh, the graphic designer was you know was was you know on, on top of his game and. It was excellent, excellent work, but I couldn't afford it. It was way too expensive for me to um, to be uh, completely satisfied, because if I pay if I pay for that much, then you know I might as well invest it in the music, right? Um, I, I didn't feel comfortable paying <clears throat> for uh, an illustrious an illustrious uh, design when it was only a demo, right? When it was only like the first band recording demo that we were going to shop around and uh, show, you know, radio stations and uh, try to get gigs and et cetera, et cetera. I didn't, I didn't see it. I thought it was, it was kind of redundant and stupid of uh, if if I was going to be if I was going to be the one paying him that much money for. It, it was excellent work. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying that it's it's um, paying a graphic designer or an illustrator or an artist to do your your artwork is an excellent idea if you can afford it. At the time, I couldn't afford it, so I uh, I was also studying art at the time, and um, I said, you know what, I could do I, I could do something. I can't I can't do this, but I could do something, and I could uh, improvise and do something that will save me a lot of money and a lot of stress uh, much much further on. So this is that 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 workshop that will help that musician who wants to um, spend less money on on an album cover or album artwork. Um, it's not it's not the best solution, but it is a solution, and it will work, right? Uh, it can. Um, Not mask, but it can. It can give you more options, right? It, it's a, a door that will open a whole a whole new universe, and you will be more educated. Um, as in, which way to go for the artwork. If you just if you don't know anything about art, this is this is basically aimed at that musician who. I, I used to love art, and then I gave it up when I was a little kid, and then I just, just, I just, I just spent all my my time uh, working on on audio, or just on my guitar, or my bass, or uh, my drums. Now I don't really draw. I don't know anything about art. These are these are concepts that I will explain that will help you, um, and will give you a solution to that problem. Um, a lot of us are drawn by, if, if we love music, then we love entertainment and we love, um, we love to look at, uh, the things that, uh, you know, the, th the things that are aesthetically pleasing to, to the eye, right? Beautiful, attractive people, um, hall hallucinogenic dreams, um, uh, Maybe an abstract idea of um, what music could be. Um, 
this, the possibilities are, 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 are and could be endless. If you uh, sit down and you try to analyze, you try to make a list of the things that you enjoy, I, this is the first thing I, I want to talk about. Um, copy what you like. Copy what you like. Something that is so obvious and in front of our face, and we have, we have all, we have this this um, developed conscience of fear and restraint. We don't want to look bad. We don't want to. Um, nobody wants to be looked down on or made fun of. So we 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 stop. We stop to create. We stop to to um, to really express ourselves and um, build this wall of um, um, I'm trying to look for the right words we build we build uh, we build a wall of sort of like a protection that we want to protect ourselves from any kind of criticism but if you're an artist and if you're a musician and and you want to be cre a, a creative, especially in this industry, or well, I don't know, in in in, in the world, you will be criticized, uh, good or bad. I think if you, if you just if you're just praised and your your art is loved by by millions of people, um, something something inside of you will undoubtedly uh, ask why. You know, why is this good? Why is this bad? Um, happens happens the opposite for other people. I'm, I'm imagining people that don't have success as musicians or artists. I'm, I'm guessing they're asking themselves the other question: Why? How come this isn't liked? Right? How come this isn't um, perceived as aesthetically pleasing? Um, so back to the idea. Um, copy what you like. What is it that I like? Um, it's like I'm, like you're, sit, you're sitting at the stu you're sitting in your studio, and you're listening to tracks. And what is what is this what is the song reminding you of? What can you what can you see when you listen to the song? What is the song about? Um, are there any names? Are there any people? Animals? Uh, the the list of things that you have to start brainstorming and jotting down on the things that will um, uh, will help you push the music further. So copy what you like. Look at the things that you've that you've enjoyed by other musicians. Why do you play guitar? I play guitar because I. Um, or I'm, I'm writing these songs, playing guitar because I want to. I, I, I was inspired by so and so. Well, what do we like about so and so? Let's write a list of, uh, let's say, uh, easily adjectives, right? Things that, things that are easily, things that are, are things that are at our disposal. We have to use these these things, these ideas first. We have to brainstorm and think what it is that we want to um, we want to show right what is the thing that we want to sell to our audience not not just sell right not not sell like a product but um, hmm. share right what we want to share with our friends what we want to share with our families I love the color red I love the color red because it's vibrant, it's beautiful, it's energy, energetic, it's uh, dark, it's powerful, it's uh, passionate, etc., etc., right? A list of adjectives that, that these are words that, that are really um, attractive to my product, my product uh, as a musician, right? I want people to feel energetic, passionate, and and um, and I don't know, uh, passionate and energetic. So this will help my music uh, 
This will help my music and it will help the way I play my music or present it. So copy what you like. Um, what I have I have a few CDs here. I'm gonna go through them just because they're the they're the ones I had here on top of my console. I I, I, I really I really enjoy these CDs and I think that the artwork is interesting. Um, there isn't there isn't something here that I would like to. Uh, um, no, uh, back to copy copy what you like. So. It's so it's so easy, right? It's right in front of our face. Copy what you like. What what do I like? Um, this 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 thing is the the thing that is so obvious. And as 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 interested artists or interested musicians or interested uh, creators, we don't we don't see this. It's right in front right in front of our face. What do I want to? What do I? What would I like to create? Create the things that have inspired you. Create the things that you like. Don't create things because others have told you it's what has to be created. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of something that will uh, artists, for example. Okay, let's go back. Uh, I, I'm. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a person who approaches art from a fine art, from a fine art um, perspective. I ha I've had a, a for I've had formal training, and I um, have seen a lot of different types of art. But the the the, the art that I use, the the approach that I that I take is um, if I understand it through fine art, then I'm going to um, I'm going to be able to create something from it, right? If I try to approach it from a graphic designer's approach, I'm not going to do anything because I have no idea what graphic design is. I've never taken a class on graphic design. I've ha I've never seen any type of uh, except maybe for Photoshop, right? If you've if you, any of you have seen Photoshop, that's what graphic designers use. I think that's one of the things that they use. Um, if I try to approach things as a graphic designer, I'm not going to achieve very much, right? I'm approaching things from the thing that the thing that I've been taught and the thing that um, I think is my my field of interest, right? Because uh, I, I studied fine art, so um, my approach is always like my safe my safe net, right? My um, like my the way I, I the, the the way I can the way I feel or perceive a project is that it has to go through these concepts, right? That's mine, right? Um, it's 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 the thing. It's fine art. So if if you, for example, think that uh, illustration, right, comic books, um, cartoons are your are your strength. Or that when you were younger, you used to draw cartoons, and you know how to how to do that, approach that. I recommend that you get a book and you start to copy the the cartoons that are appealing to you. Not not the classic cartoons because those are the classic cartoons, and everybody loves the classic cartoons. Do the thing that you love to um, create. Uh, copy the things that you like copy the things that you like so okay so we got we got that we got that cleared um, cleared up copy what you like approach the paper with less fear there's a fear between you and the paper there's a there's a there's a fear between you and the paper you don't I, I remember this because I, I sometimes I would sit down um, this would this was a while ago I would sit down and I, I'd grab sh sheets of paper or I'd have a notebook and and um, I'd start I'd start to do you know to draw and do things and and as I approach the drawing I approach it I approach it very um, um, not delicately but. Um, 
like I don't want to mess this up. I want to keep it. I want to. I want to keep it uh, perfect all the time. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And I gotta. And and I gotta tell you that if you don't, if you don't start, like, um, this is even. This is even interesting. I think uh, P. J. Harvey. She's. Uh, I don't know if you, you guys know who P. J. Harvey is. Um, she's a musician and uh, singer songwriter. I think she studied fine art. Uh, and she, she, she's a great singer songwriter. And if you, uh, and if you see her artwork or her inner sleeves, she's the, she does all the artwork and she does all these things. And, and there's a there's a thing in one of her songs that she says, um, to make something better, you have to destroy the thing that you like within, within that song. And, and I thought that was that was the greatest thing I've I ever heard. You know, like. She's talking about songwriting, right? There's something in the song that I love, and that's what she sacrifices. Like she'll destroy that idea, and then the song will come to life. So that's another approach. That's that's something else, you know. Copy copy the artists, copy the artists that, or their ideas, the, the concepts. Obviously, you know that's obvious. Copy the things that you like, and lose the fear of making mistakes within the paper. Oh, but if the, if I mess up the paper and I have to erase, then you're going to be able to... No, you have to be less scared of that situation. If something happens to the paper, then you're going to have to find a way to create something from that. Create something from the error, from the mistake. Nothing is perfect. Everything... Everything flows in a certain way, and we can't predict what's going to happen. Or we have certain techniques as artists or um, creators that will help us get to certain things faster. But we don't know what's gonna. I don't know what's gonna end up happening really here. Like I, know, I know that I have, I have, I have some sort of idea and what I can do, and what I can say and what I can approach, and these things will eventually evolve within the paper. And I will get to something new and I'll be like, oh, I like this. I don't want to touch this anymore because I'm, I'm scared that I'm going to ruin it. And, um, well, those are things that will develop and you will eventually find a way to um, um, uh, to decide if you want to continue or you want to leave the artwork like, like that. So as children, we have no fear of making marks on a paper, right? We just kind of do it. We, we kind of lay on the grass and and, and 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 make marks and color and everything and all these things. Uh, as we get older, we start we stop doing this, but it's precisely that, right? We we are our um, our aesthetics have changed, right? Um, the opposite sex is is uh, is something that will obviously be part of anything that we create but that's something that like puberty and the, and like everything else right we, we we evolve and we change and we grow up and we become adults um so i don't know I, I i'm i'm talking about that because i think it's it's part of uh the inspiration right love and um not necessarily love, but being attractive, right? Being attractive, whether it's the opposite sex or, or whatever. Um, being attractive, appealing, is part of the job, right? It's part of the work. So, um, copy what you like and lose the fear of making mistakes within the paper. The paper, the paper's not going to hit you back, right? The paper, if you make a mistake... You could you could you could beat the hell out of the paper. The paper's not going to do or say anything or scream or go you know uh, go claim uh, go claim uh, lawsuits on on your on your uh, on you uh, doing something to the paper or you know you're not going to get in trouble with doing something to the paper. You can cut up the paper uh, maybe like a sort of a William Burroughs approach of just, you know, destroying the paper and then putting it back together, some sort of collage, uh, maybe like this. 
Maybe this thing right here. Right? This is one album cover. And it, what it looks like, it looks like photographs. Photographs were taken, right? A series of them. The same day, the same time. It could be different days, it could be different times, but what I, what I see really quickly is that it's a portrait, and he could have taken 300 of these pictures, or just 30, or just 3, or just 5, or just 10, or, and then he cut them up in different, looks like in different um, shapes, and then he put it back together, right? This is interesting, right? It's interesting. This is my record. These are my tracks. Um, this is my artistic approach, you know. This is something that I that I that I find interesting, photography and and the way to you know a collage of of a new of a new perspective. This is interesting. So this is this is something. This is this is this is an idea. Um, so we got copy the things that you like. Copy the things. Copy and no fear. So we, we're scared to make we're scared to make a mark. We're scared to um you can't really see that. Copy no fear. Right? I have to I have to I have to start creating and how do I create? By making marks by moving around the page, not just with my wrist, but I use, um, like if you've ever been in a classroom, you know, these, uh, t your, your teachers will, will use, will, they won't write like this, right? But they will write like this, right? Not only with their wrist, but with their, you know, their entire body sometimes. It's their, you know, your arm, yeah, you can't be scared to make, you know, to, to make mistakes, right? It's a free, it's a free, it's your, it's a free space for your mind and your, um, um, your ideas, right? The piece of paper, the paper, the, the space, maybe, um, you want to express yourself, you want to say something, you want to draw something. Maybe you like the way words words look, or maybe that's already interesting, or completely not. Maybe, ah, I don't like this. So what do you do? You rip up the paper and you throw it away. That's another thing. You want to recycle. Um, you want to recycle not only paper and resources, but ideas. Because when they go through a new filter, we find new creative um, things that weren't there before, right? So that's that's interesting. Um, we want to we want to um, we want to lose the fear. We want to lose the fear that we're going to make a mistake. And okay, concepts, easy, basic stuff. This is this is basic stuff that you it will. You you could probably look this stuff up on on, on on Google and it will it will give you the the exact definition. Um, I don't think that you should um, try to do this in, in one in one go in one piece of paper. Just you know you have to gradually ex uh, experiment with each and every one concept, it's especially these things, right? copy what are you gonna copy make sure that what you're gonna copy is something that you really like if it's something that you're doing because it's gonna it's gonna make somebody else happy and um, uh, you know show them that you can copy something else it's it's probably that's 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 as far as it's gonna get right it's gonna um, it's gonna it's gonna help it's gonna help the other person uh, not you, right? You're gonna draw something for somebody else. It's gonna help that person, not you, right? Because I wanna, I wanna show off my music. I wanna show off my artistic um, prowess, right? Not uh, my 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 skills as a drummer or as a 
as a bass player or as a guitar player or as a singer. And um, I want to I want to illustrate that the best I, the the best the, the best way that I can. So um, we have. Um, I wish I had I wish I had something. Oh, let's use charcoal. So we have. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll, I'll come back to materials. So we got. Um, let's see. Art for musicians, right? This is a workshop. Okay. All right. Uh, copy what you like. Approach approach the paper with less fear. Approach the paper with less fear. Okay. Um, I don't like the way this looks already. I don't like the way this looks already. I'm gonna rip up the page and throw it out. Leave the page. Let it let it sit there. Don't throw out paper. If you're gonna do that, please recycle. Please recycle. And um, I would save I would save sketches. If you're gonna start getting into sketching get used to saving paper and saving old notebooks and old pieces of paper like this don't throw don't throw these things out oh it doesn't look like anything artistic to me don't don't uh, don't dismiss these things as as invaluable because these are your ideas you're brainstorming right now this is brainstorming this is your mind working you're approaching life by by the process of um, viewing something or thinking about something and then recording it right you're recording it like a just like a tape machine or like a, a tape recorder right you're you're taking the the approach of I'm I really like this so I'm gonna say uh, some, something that that happens with songwriters right oh I heard something very really really interesting today so then you jot it down right leave it there in the notebook just let it let it let it let it uh, Leave it there. Don't don't be scared that it's gonna it's gonna affect you or it's oh it looks dirty it looks ugly I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I don't want to touch this I don't want to leave it in your notebook don't don't throw it out okay well concepts composition we got composition we got line we got shade light. Dimension and weight. This is probably more advanced. Dimension and weight. All right. Um, composition. Composition is the space uh, being taken up on the page. What takes up what space on the page? Is it high? Is it low? Is it right? Is it left? Is it big? Is it... Um, is it far? Is it close? Is it heavy? Is it light? Light. Th these are these are not the same concepts, right? This is light and shade, right? As in, as in light and shade. Right. Something like that, right? Light and shade. Uh, composition. What is this taking? What is this composition? What is this taking? What space is this taking up on the page? I'm going to explain this. This is going to clear up really fast. What, what this takes up on the page is part of the composition, right? My name here is part of the composition in, uh, is part of the composition in the drawing. Or in whatever it is, right? Uh, same thing with maybe with music, but I don't want to. I don't want to do because it's completely. They're two completely different things. Where we're visualizing uh, something specific, and we want to give everything everything uh, its own dimension, its own space, its own uh, level of importance. Um, maybe almost like mixing mixing a record, but it's. It's still not the same, right? It's still not the same. I don't want to. I don't want to get confused. I don't want to get. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to do that. And it's it's something that 
I would I would like to try it is is to separate those things right everybody wants to wants to put uh, music and art as if it was one thing and it's not one thing right one thing is art and the other thing is music if you start if you start blending everything and and this concept is like this one and this is over here like that one and like, like everything is gonna start blending into this thing that makes absolutely no sense and uh, will only confuse your viewers and yourself so we got composition composition is the thing that takes up space this takes up um, this takes up a certain amount of space on the page so do the fonts so does my name or, or my or my signature the composition of um, traditional let's say this is a this is a can this is a a canvas and a traditional composition would probably be a figure in the center of the page right traditional composition nothing out of this world nothing nothing we've never seen before traditional composition a figure on the center of the page everything is on the center everything even the font is in the center so it's sort of like a traditional composition right you could see a lot of this in Picasso's work and uh, um, let me see let's see let's see let's see a lot of graphic design uses traditional composition because it's right in front of in front of you and it's clear as day right so it's a traditional form of composition there are hundreds of ways of, of composing uh, a picture. Um, I don't know if, if some of you have uh, cell phones with grids on the camera. I recommend you start, from, if you're going to start uh, getting into art, into getting into drawing, you want to start taking pictures as much as you can about of things, of the subject you want to... My, my, my strength, like my, the thing that I that I studied in fine art is uh, um, figurative art and the human human anatomy not human anatomy but the the human figure I I I have drawn more figures than I've drawn fruit or landscapes or uh, or um, what else is there traditional art um, um, so yeah Basically, it's 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 I've I've done more figurative, um, uh, human figure uh, compositions within my within my work uh, than 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 anything else. Than, uh, and, uh, for example, uh, Cezanne. I don't know if you know who that that artist is. He's a, a French painter from the um, pre. Pre pre impressionist. I don't think he, he was pre pre po, not not post impressionist. That was uh, Van Gogh. Uh, um, he was one of the impressionists. Cezanne was a, was a, an impressionist in, in France who painted a lot of fruit and a lot of landscapes. That was his strength, right? He would compose the picture within his space of work by moving fruit around, right? So this is what the composition is going to look like. He would he would set up a table. And set up fruit, oranges, apples. Um, I don't know what else. What, 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 what other kind of fruit? I'm not. I'm not a. I, I, I don't. I don't. I've. I don't know that much about Cezanne's work, but I know. I know that he was a master of composition, and that's how he he approached his um, his work by by composing things he could move around. Right. It's a lot. It's a lot difficult with people because if you're going to compose, sort of like a, like Rembrandt did probably. Rembrandt um, would paint uh, lots of figures within one one space, and that would make up his composition. Right, the space that everything takes up makes up the composition. All right, line. There are different types of lines. Uh, you can see right here that you can see right here that I'm I'm using charcoal. This is my uh, one of my favorite mediums because it's very um, uh, forgiving. Right. If you if you if you if you don't if you don't like a certain thing, then you can 
sort of brush it off and you know use use um, yeah like like dust it off you know you can you can use your finger you can use your hand mold it very much like a sculptor would I li I really like uh, this is yeah this is I would say this is my my, my favorite my go-to even more than painting I would say is charcoal um, I really enjoy drawing uh, in pencil and in ink uh, like these big these big pens but um, um, but if I'm gonna work big and I want to I want to do some sort of a figurative fine art work it's usually with charcoal if I'm gonna sketch something out on on a, on a notebook usually this this size if I'm if I'm sitting down somewhere in a in a bookstore or not not a bookstore in a, in a coffee shop or I'm watching TV or something uh, I, I, I grab this if I have something I jot something down my ideas uh, usually in pencil or in ink it's it's a really really satisfying really satisfying meetings but if I'm gonna work big and I'm gonna I'm gonna start making uh, heavy marks it's with this. This is the weight. This is where the weight goes. Right? Weight. This adds a lot of weight to um, to anything to work. This is the the no fear thing. It's making marks, right? Approaching approaching drawing. Oh, there's another thing. Rhythm. Uh, I forgot to spell rhythm. <laughs> How do you spell rhythm? No. Rhythm. I always get these two mixed up for some reason. It's, it's just silent. Um, rhythm in your drawings. For example, if you start approaching approaching a, a, a shading tactic, then that that you develop that you develop it and you go in the same direction until it's until it's completed. Right? There's rhythm. Very much like music, you can you can view it, you can view it, but you also have to have a, you also have to you you also have to have a sense of, um, an direction, right? It's going somewhere. Um, it's not it's not just linear, right? It's like music. It's you can hear it, and so you can see in in a sheet of music, and you can see that everything is, is rhythmically, uh, spaced out, very. Uh, organized and it's just, it's just like it's like a it's, it's it's a system that works for that specific task of playing an instrument right but this is completely different right um, there is that type of approach there's there's rhythm in line in line where you can somehow there's there's a certain rhythm in which I'm working I'm not I'm not working I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just kind of going. I'm just flowing, but I'm going. I'm going with a certain rhythm, right? I can feel the line, and I can feel that I'm right. That will show in your work, in your design, in your picture, etc. Even when you take a picture, even even um, when you approach photography from an artistic point of view, there's a lot of uh, photo photographic techniques. And tricks where you can smear the image, where you can. Um, uh, 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 I'm not going to get into that because that's something different. But the, f the photographs uh, and the grid within within the cell phone, or within within your within your camera in the cell phone, are great indicators of great compositions. So if you're using the grid on your on your phone, you will find the best place to take the picture. Right? You look. You oh, that looks good. The lines are the lines are there to help you. The lines are there to help you, and if you take if you take if you take pictures with on on the grid, looking for interesting compositions, you will you will you will automatically see results, and you will see that uh, your pictures will leap into into new uh, uh, new creative uh, new new more creative uh, territory. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Anyways, line and shade. Uh, no, sorry, uh, light and shade. Oh, we we know this approach, right? We've we've uh, we've heard this in, in 
it's it's not very clear to a lot of people who who probably not 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 uh, not listen to uh, um, these things. You can you can probably look up in, in on on another YouTube video, and and they will be explained in depth. Uh, light and shade, which is the obvious thing. Everything, every object has. Let me look for the perfect one so that you can so that you can see what I'm. Um, <laughs> Um, this is this is this is very this is very apparent when you've only when you've only got one light source one light source. For example, this is the light source. Actually, it's it's right here. It's a lot. It's not here. It's here, right? The light the light is hitting over here. So uh, if it's only one light source, then this is really really bright, right? This is really really bright. This is super bright, right? The light, the light, and the opposite of it, right? The darkness, the shade, is here. And it's still darker because here we have. etc., 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 right? Probably a bigger, a bigger shadow. Anyways, yeah, something like that, right? So we have we have uh, different kind di different kinds of uh, different kinds of uh, lights and shades, right? We have we have a really really dark shade. And we have a like a medium shade here, and we have a light shade here, right? Um, it's not completely perfect, but it's it's the basic idea. Uh, within this, there's a scale, a grayscale. You can you can look that up on on Photoshop, or your, even your camera has like, uh, if you take a picture, and you want to draw, and you want to draw it. The, uh, yeah, if you, you want to draw it, you could you could uh, use the filter, the gray scale filter, or the black and white, and you will see what I'm talking about. There's a there's a light source, right? It's best if there's just one light source, so you could so you could view the idea and the concept much better. It looks like that. Right, and you you may have to work on this. A lot more than I'm doing right now because this is a quick video and I'm not I'm not gonna spend much time on this. I'm just but you could spend hours, hours and hours getting that getting that correctly, right? Just exactly how you want. Right? That's completely wrong. Anyways. This is sort of the idea, right? That's sort of the, the approach. There's a light and there's a shade, right? All right, so we got line, we got composition, line, shade, light, 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 uh, line, shade, light, rhythm, dimension, and weight. Dimension is something that, um, can be uh, felt or um, imagined, right? If you if you see, um, for example, this this figure here, you have a sense that he's standing. He's standing on the floor or somewhere, and behind him, you can imagine that there's something there, right? That gives it dimension, right? It gives it a dimension of. Of a lots of space and depth, right? Dimension. We don't know what it is, though. We, it could be a, uh, it could be uh, the rooftop of somewhere, or it could be, uh, uh, right? My 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 imagination flows, and I and I start to imagine maybe it's the, maybe it's the curb to where where he lives, or um, maybe he's on the street. Or 
It looks like he's skiing somewhere, right? Maybe that's the top of a mountain or something. I don't know because of the those aren't skis. Those aren't skis, but anyways, your mind your mind can develop that sense of dimension. It could be in your mind, and it could be something that uh, um, could be used for good, right? If we start if we start to 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 go that way, then it, it could it could get a little bit uh, complicated and distorted and not not very um, uh, may, maybe not very productive, right? So may, may, maybe not start off with you know oh, I'm gonna screw with your mind and I'm gonna you know make you think that he's but he's actually no no I think I think your approach should be composition uh, rhythm and uh, line. Yeah, those are the three, the three composition, rhythm, and line, the, th the, the things that will help you develop as a, uh, not as a sketch artist, but just sketches, uh, you know, things that I, I, may, I may use on, on an inner sleeve or, a, or as an album cover. Uh, I don't know if you've, if you've seen uh, Pearl Jam's, uh, I think it was Pearl Jam Versus and Vitalogy. If you look at those two records... You see on the inside cover, there's on the inside inner sleeve, there's um, I don't know if it's Eddie Vedder's lyric sheets, but uh, he like like they like they take pictures of, of these little these doodles these sketches that he does within the words, and he cro he crosses out words, you know which it makes it it, it makes it work within you know within within the space almost like a Basquiat. I don't know if you know who that is, but he's a very important artist. Uh, Basquiat and um, Paul Clay. Paul Clay, that's, that's how it's pronounced. Um, by taking stuff out, by putting a lot of stuff on the on the on the uh, on the paper, and by taking stuff out, it gives it dimension, right? It gives us a, a sense of dimension and of word. And with words, it's it's probably used doing like a wordplay thing, and. Um, it really, it really, uh, it's something very, very, uh, I don't want to say, uh, like it, it looks easy, but if you start to really conceptualize what this represents, it's really strong, right? It's really strong, and it, well, it adds to the music, right? Because uh, Eddie Vedder's lyrics are very profound, and sometimes he's, he's speaking about or, or singing about things that are very... Uh, Things that are very uh, maybe emotionally complicated or socially not accepted, or et cetera, et cetera. And this stuff adds to the music, right? So this will help you. This will help you. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't want to be um, we don't want to be Rembrandts, or we want we, we don't want to. We just want to write stuff, and then when it comes time for us to create something, you know, something may, maybe just to put it on the internet. I don't have any money to to pay anybody to make any artwork. I barely, I barely have enough money to write to to record the demo. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna maybe try to draw a tiger, you know, draw a tiger. Don't try to do it from imagination. If you're starting this stuff, you know, do do it from copying a source, a photographic source. Don't uh, you know, rely on your re rely on your on your resources. Don't don't think that it's wrong to copy something. Maybe not exactly, right? It's not going to look exactly the same, but it'll give you the best idea um, other than your imagination, right? Your imagination is, well, I think it's going to look like this. So you start to copy and, oh, it looks even better. Or uh, maybe this doesn't look good, so you take stuff out, right? Copy the things that you like and then maybe take something out so that it doesn't look, so that, you know, you give it a little a little distortion, right? Like the, like the guitar. Give it a little distortion. Maybe uh, take a picture of it, put it through, put it through some filters. Um, uh, maybe do this, right? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here is. Maybe do this. You know, take take pictures of it from different angles of your own drawing, and then put it put it put it on put it on a on the on some software, and see what you can do. Just you know, mess around with composition, right? You print stuff out, and you're like, "Whoa, this actually this looks kind of interesting." So this is art for musicians, right? Art for musicians. I'm not, we're not trying to be Rembrandts, or we're not gonna buy easels and go out to uh, to the beach and start and start uh, painting the pier. 
even though that, that may be something that's interesting, right? Um, to some people, well, you know, draw the pier and you know, maybe that could be the back cover of your, of your record. Um, yeah, that, that's not a bad idea. Okay, so, uh, so we got that down. Um, which is concepts, copy, no fear. The, the no fear thing is very important. As you can see that uh, I've, I've found a way to, I found a way to, to what if, what, what if I, what if I make a mistake? Well, then there's a new, there's a new sheet. There's a new sheet of paper, right? But let's not rely on let's not rely on that, or, or let's not rely on oh, I could just rip this up and recycle and get a new sheet of paper. Save this stuff. Save this stuff because in a few months' time you will look back on this and you'll be like, oh, that that was a good idea. But what happened? Why didn't I like it? It's it's it's, it's your it's it's your your ideas and your thoughts, you know, registered right there on 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 paper. It's a great way to. It's a great way to uh, to uh, to develop not only not only uh, album artwork, but maybe um, the entire musical project that you're working on. This, this this stuff works. Sketching out ideas, brainstorming. You know the classic the classic brainstorm. Uh, you what did you write? Um, not brainstorm, but artwork. Artwork, right? You got all these concepts, all these things. Recycle ideas. Recycling ideas will also help. Things that have been done, um, we don't want to copy too much. For example, I want to copy, but I don't want to be a complete. Uh, um, well, that depends. I don't want to be a complete. Uh, I don't, I don't want to be a copyist, right? I want to add some ideas. I want to add ideas by maybe take, taking away certain things or by expressing certain things. Um, you get, I think you get the idea. All right. Um, sketch. Sketch. So sketch. Sketching. What is sketching? The, the things you've been watching me do for the past hour or the past half hour, 45 minutes, Sketching. There are um, there's a there's a there's a great way of, of seeing this. I've seen uh, maybe not do this because it ruins the paper, and I'm doing it out of out of uh, out of necessity. But I would normally take that. Pick, I would normally take that down because this gets this turns into a mess. Anyways, um, so we got uh, for basic, basic, basic sketching skills. You you want to not just use your wrist, but use your entire arm, your shoulder. Want to draw like this, right? With your shoulder, with your arm, and with your wrist, right? You want to hold your charcoal or your pencil like this. It will give you more control of the line and what you're doing. I've seen people just work like this, and that's okay because that's 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 his style of approach and everything. But if you wanna if you, if you wanna be able to sketch things quickly and with ease and take up a lot of the the space on the paper quickly and fast and effectively is you know hold it like this you could even you, you could even hold it like this shading right and and we have our basic shapes which are circles triangles and squares Those are our three basic shapes. I think everything, every other shape derives from these, from these shapes and the combination of them. So I would learn how to, how to draw 
uh, different types of circles. Um, uh, if, if you can uh, find um, Cezanne's work, Cezanne, you will see what kind of compass, how he draws, it, you know, the apples and the oranges, and I think I think uh, those are nectarines or something. I don't. I, I, he he draws a certain a certain fruit, a lot, a lot, and you can see the way he draws um, circles. Right, there, there's a lot of circles, but they take up a certain space, and the shading will give you the shading will give you the dimension or the space or or where it's placed, where the light's coming from, etc. 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 I know I know you've seen this is the basic basic cube. Right? We've all seen this and maybe have approached it. Right? Three dimensional things. I will show you a book that will help you if you start getting really into this and you wanna and you wanna develop develop this further. And and the and your typical um, triangle can also be a, a form of a cone, right? Sort of a cone, like a like a party hat. here it's probably got stuff here right I don't know what a party hat looks like but pretty sure that that's the beginning of one it's the right. really basic childish designs will help right. and you can roll over it with other medium really really explore what it is that your mind what, what are you what are you viewing that could help your record what 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 could I draw that will help my music, right? A sun, a sun, um, a sun or a moon or a box or, anyways, these are just basic shapes, but they will help you. Um, they will help you start. This is just the beginning, right? This is basics. If you really get into it, you're like, oh my god, this is this is actually interesting and everything. I have some books right here. I'll I'll, sh I'll share. Um, anyways, so. Back to the idea of what this whole thing is, right? This is for a musician who, I don't want to be a painter, I don't want to be Rembrandt, I don't want to spend uh, a lot of time on the artwork, but it, it's something, the, op the option is there. If I have to do this, I, I have an idea of how to do it, right? Okay, excellent. So we know how to, we understand some concepts, we know that we can copy, and that we have to lose the fear of making marks. You know, the, the mark making thing, we have to stop worrying about whether it's good or bad. And we don't, we have to um, maybe approach this as a, as a, as a, as a tool of, um, as a personal tool, right? I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this eventually or try to do that. And as you're developing things, you don't have to share them because if you start sharing them, then you're going to get criticized on your work when it's not even developed or or um, or finished, right? So do these things, but don't expect don't, don't expect praise out of these basic things. Um, as you as you start developing, you start collecting collecting uh, pages and notebooks of, of of things and ideas, and um, maybe maybe the artwork that you create today is something you're going to use in ten years or twenty years. So it's a great way. Um, I, I think recently I saw um, recently I saw uh, a BBC uh, documentary on Michelangelo's drawings and uh, the way they express uh, the, the way they express these these drawings is that um, these drawings are his intellectual capital, right? Intellectual capital meaning that it's 
where he gets all his ideas from his uh, how he's going to survive, what he needs to what he needs to do to to continue his work, uh, materials he may need, food he has to get, people he has to pay, etc. 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 Something that we all do, right? We we do this with our computers. We have computers because we keep a lot of information within within a project. We need we need uh, sketches, ideas, or something to help us um, uh, know what the next approach is. So um, anyway, I think I think you understand that concept. So no fear, sketch. You know how to sketch now. Materials. What what to, uh, back? What what to sketch? What how do I sketch? What to sketch? What's the best thing? What's the best thing? What's the best approach? Um, there's a lot of things laying around the house, and I think the best way that you could sketch is by um, having a, a completely flat surface. You don't want you don't want a flimsy notebook because if you have a flimsy notebook, you're not going to be able to control uh, maybe the page. You want your hands off the page, and you want to be able to have a I had a, I had a, I had a, maybe use a, I have these special boards, anyways, drawing boards, you know, get a drawing board or a, or, or a clipboard and uh, have it so that it's, the thing that you want to sketch, I want to, I want to draw a beer can, so there's a beer can on the, on the, on the table and you want to approach it so that you can be as comfortable as you can in a certain place and you start to sketch what you can, a beer can, just one thing, one easy simple thing which is probably a square, right, a square and then a triangle underneath, the base of a triangle. I don't know if that makes sense. So it's like, it's like a, a rectangle, right? And then the base is a cylinder and so is the top obviously because it's a beer can. Or like a soft drink or something whatever but in this soft drink there's a there's like a cloud and there's rain yeah these things you can see I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm, what I'm trying to draw here but but I know the basic idea right and it's it's we can see if it works or it doesn't well that cloud with that rain doesn't work so well. anyways the beer can right try to try to Try to get, try to get some idea of it. Sketching is a, is is fast and simple. Don't try to develop anything idea and that you need to make it look like a Matt Michelangelo drawing. No, no, no. Those are sketches that developed and developed and developed and developed after, you know, many, 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 many hours. So, um, approaching sketching by nibbling on the paper uh, is probably not the thing that you want. The thing that's not going to get you the, the, the best result, and it's going to look very, um, uh, unprofessional, right? You want sketches, sketches, squares, right? You're building a, I don't know, some sort of space here. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of making making lines and as I'm doing them um, I'm almost like a, um, like walking like walking if you're walking you take steps and you don't you don't necessarily go back to take the step better or, uh, to correct the way you're, you're walking right if you're walking down the street you're walking down the street you're kind of in a hurry dun, 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 dun. you don't want to Oh wait, I'm not doing it correctly. So then you go back and then you come back. Da, 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 da. I don't know if that makes sense, right? Sketching is fast, quickly. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, right? What is, what is, uh, what do I got here? What do I got here? What do I got here? Something, 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 um, something that's not uh, a book. A book is also, a book is also a, a square, right? Some form of square, a magazine, an old book. Right, an idea, and a, a sketch, and this could say book. An apple, 
I know an apple has some sort of some sort of thing right here. It has a base that's round, but it cuts in here. I know this by memory because I've seen apples a lot, and I've and I've been drawing for a while, so I have a I have a way of like being able to approach this easy, easy easily, right? So that's what an apple looks like, right? An idea of it. It's a sketch quickly, right? These things are not easy, and you won't you won't be you won't do this from from one day to the next, and you won't you won't uh, jump from a book and a and a beer can to a to a a a big desk with elaborate um, inlays or well you can you could spend you could spend hours and do but that, that that's that's not sketching right that's actually like drawing sketching drawing and cleaning up and doing like a, a fine art drawing you could do that also right it's uh it, it you know that, that'll probably look good on a record but that's it's something that it's something I'm, I'm 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 sharing, so you have an option. You, you you don't you don't you know you don't find yourself not knowing what to do. Um, okay, materials. What kind of paper is this? If you want to get big, you know, if you want to start getting um, big paper, you go to the you you go to the uh, art stores. Any of the papers that are there are okay you don't have to get the most expensive you don't have to get the cheapest and but I would start with newsprint this is news print newsprint it's probably the it's probably your the cheapest and uh, best way to start you get the the block it's like a, um, get, get a bit you know get the big one and you can start doing the thing the exercises with your arm right you're not gonna like any of this stuff. You're not gonna like any of the pictures that you're gonna do. You just, it's gonna look like, sorry, I don't wanna uh, offend anybody, but it's gonna look like crap and things that you don't like. But now you have a better idea of what drawing and sketching is. And from this point forward, you can develop that skill and it will help. That's why I'm saying use newsprint because it's a lot more available and uh, it's it's recycled paper. I think it's like recycled uh, newspaper. But it's actually really good. Newsprint. If if you uh, if you if if you think that something is good and you want to save it, archi uh, it's not archival paper, but it will it will hold and it and it, it will last for a very very long time. So newsprint is another good one. This once you've developed skill and once you want something with a lot a lot a lot of light, a lot of uh, very bright whites. Um, this is a uh, a Canson paper. Canson, actually, Strath Strathmore or Canson is good. Strathmore or Canson. Those are those are very those are very good papers. You can find newsprint or um, drawing paper, which is this. This is drawing paper. Canson Canson. Uh, it's a lot more expensive. But it's a lot more durable and a lot heavier, so you can really put weight on the on your lines, right? You can really dig into the paper, right? Really do, right? Heavy, dark stuff, right? Right. Notice that the line changes, right? The the quality of a line. Is different from from point A to B, and this makes this makes a lot of interesting artwork. Picasso, um, Dali. Um, I'm trying to think of of uh, more current stuff, not cartoons, but uh, fine art is uh, Paul Clay. I, th I think I think Paul Clay is, is excellent, and especially especially if if you're starting out and you you have no idea about art, then um, quality of line also J Jackson Pollock I don't know if you've seen Jackson Pollock's work those those dripping that dripping technique it's it's that it's like fat fat uh, thick paint with loose and liquidy uh, uh, em, 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 I forgot, em, 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 enamel enamel 
just house house paint. It's like oil based, but it's like uh, it's like nail polish, right? It's very very toxic and very it smells very strong. So, anyways, newsprint and Strathmore and Canson paper. These are, these are the best the best kinds of paper. Um, right. I think that's it for materials. Oh, anything, anything, anything that has anything you can draw. Um, drawing with ink is also interesting. Um, brushing, uh, using a brush to draw. Not on this paper. Not on. Not on this one. Maybe on the drawing paper. It'll hold. It, it's probably not the best idea because it could. Uh, if you put too much water and you don't know what you're really. Uh, if you're like experimenting and doing stuff, then it's probably good. Yeah, it'll, it'll hold. But if you put, if you, um, it probably won't hold oil as well. Good. This, this, this newsprint, it will only hold pencil and uh, charcoal and uh, and ink. It'll hold it. I don't know for how long or how well it will, but it's it's good to start with. This this will hold pencil and charcoal. It, it it'll it it you could you could archive this. Save it and, and it'll and it'll work. Um, but if you're gonna draw with oils or you're gonna start drawing with paint and, br and brushes, um, like to experiment and to see what what kind of results you can get, I think you might you may need a, a heavier paper. There's mixed media. Mixed media, which is excellent. Which is excellent for this. It's excellent for uh, oil and then um, other other well mixed media. Anything anything that pastels are also interesting. Drawing with pastels. I got some right here. I've, I was trying to do something else. Well, maybe maybe this apple's blue. These are these are dry pastels. Dry pastels. Right, they're also great. It's great. It's it's um, it's pigment with a binder. I think this is a. Uh, I don't know what kind of binder this one has, but it's a. Uh, uh, it's great. It's a great drawing tool. It's a great drawing tool. Yeah. Just some really really interesting. Uh, Things just start to emerge from the picture. Um, uh, anyways, use the use the medium use the media uh, the medium that that best suits the music and the. For example, this this uh this is this is a great example of. He doesn't want to draw anything. He wants to, you know. There's some lines here, some linear stuff here, but the main focus is his his voice and uh, maybe the photography, right? The photography in within within the image, right? Black and white photography, right? Um, okay, let's see. Um, all right, I think that's that's good. Strength and cancel newsprint. All right. Well, that's enough for sketching materials. Um, I want to go. I want to go over some concepts really quick. I don't want to make uh, too long a video. Okay, we got. Um, so I picked out these are CDs that were on my console, and I want to uh, um, sort of dissect dissect each and every one of them to see into to see what kind of concepts I can I can I can uh, uh, get out of them right so for example this is a Mozart CD Don Giovanni and what's the what's the um, what's the thing that you know most stands out obviously it's the thing in the center which is like it looks like an abstract painting it looks very interesting sophisticated within a context within a classical context Right. This is really interesting, right? 
usually like modern art is not considered a classical but this is what's great right this is what's great about both art and music that they're not the same thing so if there's if they put a an abstract rectangle on the cover that doesn't mean that this is modern music this is my one, one of my uh one of my points right don't mix don't mix art and music to to solve a problem right because you think that oh if i if i if i explain that the line is is like the melody and that um the rhythm of the line and the melody that you start to wanting to explain everything as one thing will only confuse you and your listeners or your viewers so um trying to figure out where I can leave these. This is a this is a photograph. Now there, I love I love photography as well. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of photography. I I think photography is great. It's a great tool and I've done it myself. This is a photograph of Caracas, Venezuela. And they flipped over the 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 picture. That's it. And I think they 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 on uh, you know on in some in some software they just hyped up the contrast. It looks like a circuit or something really high tech or weird. It's it's the city. It's the city of Caracas. It's just backwards. Right? But that's the that's how it is. It's, it's backwards. Upside down. This one I haven't opened the CD, but Metallica. This artwork is really interesting. I know a lot of metal metal guitar players, you know, that are really interested uh, love to draw goblins and vampires and blood and you know um you know st darker darker things in life um i know they i know they like to i i know i i like metallica covers i think they're i think they're great i think they're really i think they're really interesting especially this album this is one of my favorite metallica records and the music that you hear and you start to get into the music and you look at this image it's so it's like haunting it's and it even the back right the just the the font the font of these words the the whole san what is it sanitary is it um sanitarium yeah it look the color you know it affects the music it affects the way you approach the music and you i, th I think this is one of this is this is a great example uh this one right it's so simple it's cl classic composition all everything is in the center you know minus minus this thing on the side everything is on everything is in the center clear as day that thing looks like it could be it, it could be from like a some sort of a nightclub you know but it's not right it's rush it's it's pro prog rock and it's um this has its own concept its own thing its own uh, story but if but for somebody who's never heard or seen the band, you know, does it complement the band? Does it complement the music? It's it's interesting. Um, this one for my Latino musicians, friends, or people who know who Ravi Draco Rosa is. Basic kind of to the side. It's not a basic composition, but it's a uh, it's a photograph. It's they put it through some software, and there's uh, you know some some of his some of his some of his lyric fonts are here on the side. You know, just to you know, right here, whoa, right here, right here. It look it's, makes it look kind of interesting, and I like this because he's actually he's actually a I think he's a painter too, and he's a he's an artist. He draw he does tattoos and photography and he does a lot of his music videos this stuff this uh sorry because i've got i'm just using i don't want to stain the the this this notice the notice the the space it takes up right the skull for example with the hair takes a very little 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 space composition in the whole thing in the whole record but the um, but the the importance right here is him, right? He's the one that takes up the most space. He's he's uh, 
he's of, of right he's 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 taking up most of the composition it's interesting it's interesting like he's thinking about something or some sort of a, a nightmare dream right it's really interesting this is a great record by the way if you haven't heard it um, this is uh, Brahms Brahms classical right the most important thing is not me I'm not just a conductor but you know the label probably takes a really good picture of the guy because he's a really good uh, conductor and we want this to look very classy and um, we want you to look at the music right we want you to pay attention to the music right not any not any doodles not any gra graffiti not any uh, cartoons right it's just very serious work so it's a very serious picture right he's got a he's wearing his uh, his conductor um, suit very easy right very, very basic everything in the center classical composition it takes up the important thing is in me the important thing is you know up, up here Brahms and Haydn variations it's very interesting um, this is a blind melon record I love this record this is my one of my favorite records um, and it's photography it's it's something it's something very basic I don't think this has anything to do with the band or that they love diners or it says breakfast lunch and dinner right it's just them kind of maybe maybe touring around America and yeah, they just took this picture maybe they had the blind melon made maybe love they love that that space and uh, someone took a picture at the right time and uh, it looks like a it looks like an interesting cover not so much not so much concept right not so much oh uh, this is really crazy trippy trippy rock or it's just you know normal day this one's interesting it's very it's very basic composition but there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh it's like a mixed media piece. You see the the tonic, right? The font is is interesting. It looks like a like a very old medicine, probably, or very very old drink, or or something because of the picture. You know, it it it, it has some relation to the picture. But there's some vegetation. There's there's some some animals and some um, some fauna. Right, but they then they put it through some sort of filter, and then everything looks the same, the same color and the same texture, the same the same finesse. Right. This one's it's it's very basic, but it's a it's an interesting concept, right? It's a. Does it help the music? It does it have anything to do with the music? Um, I I really don't think that it it's it's a it's like a concept record. It's not like a it's not like Dark Side of the Moon, right? This is just something that looked appealing to the band, and they said, "You know what? Just you know, use this. Maybe this has some significance. I haven't really put too much thought into it, but uh, the what's the important thing? The music, right? They're sort of hiding the guy's face because it's not I'm irrelevant to the story, but I'm the guy in the in the song or something. Maybe I don't know. This is a uh, this is one I really like because it's really weird and odd and kind of disturbing right it's a uh, I think it's a uh, an English German no English Shepherd dog not German Shepherd English Shepherd and it's it's jumping something that probably a horse would normally jump I think I thought I thought that was interesting it's like especially the the font has nothing to do with what's going on and especially the dog I don't know I don't know it looks like um, like circus font from uh, from a circus, it looks it looks completely whacked out, right? It's really it has a lot. This 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 is very uh, what is it called? There's there's a, there's a name for that uh, synesthesia, I think the synesthesia, where the words and the colors and uh, and um, sort of like what what Silverchair did with diorama. Um, the words and the way the things look make you uh, feel the music. It's part of part of the part of the trip, right? Um, if you see, if you've seen the inside of this, 
the music is so crazy and tripped out and it's like cut and paste a lot of it if you look at the at the inside there's a lot of really weird really I really I really think this is like it really envelops the 90s collage and uh, this this uh, this 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 booth photography which is really you know really um, you know something that common uh, in, in movies and and you know things that people would do they would take pictures they would go into the booth and take pictures this, this classic classic things I don't know concepts but it really I think it really envelops the 90s so something about it, it's really really disturbing these these uh, these drawings of like of insects and uh, bats near the beach it's really crazy this is this is a really interesting one something that I, I, I probably wouldn't wouldn't consider fine art <clears throat> in this context it's, but it's something that's um, you know it's it's interesting and it and it really envelops a time a time in music and um, in culture um, we're doing good with time we got Soundgarden this one is uh, I really like this because it's gloomy I like the colors and I like the composition. See the notice the composition, the composition in their uh, in the photograph. It's a photograph, obviously. It's a photograph of the band, but they're um, they're occupying a specific space within the image, which makes me feel when I listen to the to the music that. Uh, they're they're sharing right they're sharing this space it's very uh gloomy dark intimate uh, weird uh, maybe cold wet maybe uh dangerous yeah this is this is uh this is interesting i really like this I really, it's, <clears throat> it's a interesting cover shakira look at her hands they look like one of mine right now but I like this a lot because she's obviously you know, she's an attractive person, attractive woman. She has stuff on her hair and just it's like this is my music. I don't want you to look at me so much. I want you to listen to what I'm working on, what I what I did, what I did with it, right? What I did, maybe because that's that's what I'm interpreting from her hands, right? This is my labor of work. This is what I did, right? I like the I like this cover. I noticed this this font on the back. She's sitting. She looks tired, or she looks kind of like uh, serious. And she's sitting on the chair. And notice that the font, how it takes up parts of the CD, right? Those are these are things you have to look look at as an artist too, as, as a designer in your in your own CDs. Uh, you want to look at the at the way the font looks with the things that you're sharing, right? Look at the space this takes up. Wait, the the. Th the space the font takes up in the way in the direction it's going because she could have just put the the font all the songs straight down right taking the uh, taking the fan out of there and then just put all the songs and just her in the chair but the composition asked she wanted the she wanted the fan there and that it had to be that color and everything it's really interesting this is another colombian artist Colombian band from Bogota um, I really I think it's it's sort of like a like a delicate fusion of colors and idea not ideas but just like a delicate fusion of of an instant I think it's, it's beautiful this is also interesting art like uh, uh, um, watercolors things you could do with watercolors on, on watercolor paper and maybe some mixed media dripping dripping wet um and then when it dries it looks it looks excellent and so this this is interesting it's like simple but effective the music it really it really illustrates the music this one it's obviously a drawing of something horrific this doesn't really illustrate what's going on in the in the music but it's 
you know, it's uh, it's uh, artwork. I think it's separate from the album, so this is like the Dark Side of the Moon concept. Uh, maybe what other uh, what other concept that uh, the Stones may um, main uh, uh, what was forgot. Anyways, um, yeah, the, the this is this is this has nothing to do with what goes on with what's going on inside the music, but it's something that you know that they liked. The band liked it. It, it was weird enough for them to uh, to put it. It's just some guy, some guy screaming, or some guy, some guy, somebody opening some guy's face, or the same guy doing it to himself. It's just really weird. It has nothing to do with the music, which is, but it's it's effective. Um, Manu Chao, right? It's just like a picture, regular picture. But then there's like some, there's some graphics here. Yeah, it's interesting. Right here in the back, this is I like this picture. Yeah, it's with some friends. It's just a picture, you know. Photography, simple, simple but effective. It's simple, you know. Like here, just stand over there with, with your with your friends and. Let me take a picture, and that's it. And then we put some graphics on top. There you go. Easy, simple. It's effective. It's a nice. It's a nice picture. I like this one a lot. This this one's like the first one I showed you. Um. Uh, it's a lot of photography. A very attractive woman. They probably just sat her there. They really used the light that was, um. That was uh in the room to if you notice some pictures are darker than others but they could have taken like i don't know 50 pictures of her and then they they did that you know so that it would look so that it would look kind of interesting right the light the lighting you know some are darker some are lighter this is a really interesting one and this one right there on the back you know it's got some um some anatomy. They thought it was. It looked classy, right? It looks. It looks classy, and it adds to the. It probably doesn't have anything to do with this. Actually, it does. I'm sorry. Because it's a. It's a figure, human figure, but I think this is like the. Like the thing that adds some sort of. A, some sort of. A, maybe. A, um not 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 classiness but some sort of uh how to, how to it looks like a schematic right because it's because it says diagram for healing so it's like a schematic of a map of of the body and how it how it interprets certain things and sounds anyways yeah i thought i think it's i think these are interesting it's not a very well known band but it's I thought it, I thought it was interesting. This is that's why I bought it. I bought I bought the music. I bought the CD because of the the cover. This is one of my favorite records. Everybody knows I love the Cure, but this one is the thing that really changed my my whole melodic world. Um, this 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 it's like that a Paul Clay technique where you. Um, sort of like um, make only one, make only one original, and you know that the the original is this one because of the mistakes. Something Paul Paul Clay used to do, which is really interesting. And then they they just put this uh, what looks like a peyote button on top. It's really interesting. Looks like a sky, like a really 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 strong trip, strong, very nice, very nice. I like I like it. This too. It's a hand with, it's a hand print with uh, eyes, different kinds of eyes, They're not the same eyes. And there's a moon, a, a, like a, a blue moon. This is this is interesting. I think it's a key. It's like a key. Pearl Jam. The thing I was the thing I was saying is not is not in here. Um, Jeff Ament. Jeff Ament, uh, the the bass player, I think he's like the main um, art art uh, guy in the band, who 
who t I think he took these pictures. I think I think that's specified here that he took he took in this in this record. I don't know Vitology because because of what I said. I, th I think some of those sketches are 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 made by Eddie. And um, this is this goes back to the sort of the, like the 1970s records where there's there's a lot of uh, it looks almost looks like a pop up book. You know, in the 70s, they used to make these. I, I saw I saw a lot of vinyl records with. Where, where the, it's not a concept, it's not really a concept record, but it's, there's a, there's a lot of involvement in making these, in making these, and it's not very, not, not very cheap, this is very expensive. Anyway, and this one, um, it's just a, just a photograph, some font. And why is he hiding his eyes? Why is he hiding his face? And he said, "Don't, don't look at me. Pay attention to the music. It's probably the first thing I can. Like, don't, don't focus on me because of the of the way I look, but because of the you know the way it sounds, the music, which is probably interesting, right? It's an interesting thing. There's a lot of pictures in here where he's, you know, let's say he's like he's modeling. It's black and white photography, which is great. It's, uh, it's just a picture, just black and white photography. There's, um, yeah, it's it's like him, it's him modeling and and uh, showing off his his appeal. Right, he's trying to he's trying to sell records, right? <laughs> Not scare women away or whatever. Anyways. Those are those are the examples and the things that I think we have to sit down and you have to start to analyze the things that you like and the things you want to copy, the things that are doable and the things that are way too expensive. For example, that that uh, this this Pearl Jam thing, this this idea, you know, of uh, maybe not taking pictures yet. Pictures is probably a really great way to go. Taking pictures is really use that grid to get really good compositions. Um, this is another one that I think is really interesting. This one was really that collage stuff that's in here. It's I think it's really um, expressive and it and it helps the music because it's like cut and paste. Anyways, uh, so we got now we got now we go to now we go to books. Um, one forty five. Okay, I if I only had if I only if I could only uh, I'm gonna share one not not all of them. Um, let me see what the book that would probably help most. Um, actually, actually, I'm not going to go through books right now. It's important that you view a lot of art, not just the things that you like. You have to look and approach every single type of art or drawing or graphics, soft, uh, even software or video games with an analy analytical eye don't um, don't approach don't approach this just uh, don't just look at the things that you like and use the things that you like you have to start um, utilizing your anal analytical um, uh, an an analytical uh, mind to really understand just as we did right now, we looked and analyzed every single CD and sort of kind of compared what what kind of what kind of music what kind of what kind of music and art complement each other. And we know all these techniques is use photography, graphics, software, cut and paste, collage, um, mixed 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 media. Um, fonts fonts are also interesting but um, anyways that's the workshop um, I want to I wanted to help um, the maybe the the, the six not at the 16 year old maybe the 20 year old that I used to be where I thought I thought that I I, I I thought that I, I could I could approach drawing and painting and all this stuff, um, and that that would help my 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 music. 
Um, it has, but it's it it's it's made me understand that they're both they're two different completely things. They do complement each other, and they do help push the music. But it's not the solution is not to mix one thing with the other to um, you know to help you get out of a problem. For example, I have to pay I have to pay somebody five thousand dollars to um, you know to make a music video, artwork, graphic design, all this, a lot of a lot of things to pay and all these things. And I don't have five thousand dollars, so what do I do? I have I have a cell phone. I have access to a computer and I can I can sketch I can sketch stuff out that's that's probably that's probably me trying to that's what the workshop was was about right the solution to um, the person that loves art I love art I, oh, I love I love the dark side of the moon I love but I will never pick up a pencil I will never um, I will never uh, you know buy a, a, a piece of paper that's um, you know that's big like this to start developing ideas or anything because I'll just leave that to someone else right my profession is, is a musician and I completely understand that because that's who I was right I was just focused on the music and focused on which is how it's supposed to be but you know nowadays we have to maybe not cut corners because our our, our artwork should be should be a, should be developed, right? It shouldn't be something that we just throw throw together, um, throw throw together in in an instant. It could be it could be that that could be a cover, right? If I was um, if I was if I was keen to to doing something weird or something, yeah. Um, well, here that's it. That's the workshop. It was a solution to. Uh, to I think it's a common problem within um, um, within us as musicians. We love music, and if we love music, then we must have some sort of affinity or um, aesthetic appeal with art. We have we have we like certain music, and so then I would love to uh, I would love to you know make a concept record just like Dark Side of the Moon, but, you know, how, who's going to make the artwork? I have to look for an artist. And you have to have a little confidence in your um, resources that you have and develop your ideas. Maybe even sketches that you could show another artist, right? So if you want uh, a concept album like Dark Side of the Moon, then you... Do some sketches, take some pictures, do this, and, and you then you give it to the artist. Look, this is what I have. I have an idea to make it like this, this, and that. Maybe that'll maybe that'll even cut down the price, right? If he's saying, "Oh, I'll charge you a thousand dollars for everything or two thousand dollars," well, I have the pictures, I have the I have the drawings, I I have the I have the time. Maybe I can maybe I can be involved in in the making of the of the artwork or maybe this is maybe I'm I'm gonna I'll hand you I'll, I'll hand you my sketches and my photographs and you can develop something out of this very basic right? it'll probably cut cut the price down from a thousand to I don't know two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars right it won't be it won't be an absurd amount of money for something that you need fast and that'll probably the only thing it's gonna do is is um, it's gonna get in the way with the music right if the music is if the, if the music is your demo and three or four songs that you need to show a, a club or something, like I just want to play some songs, I just want to play some songs, and I just want to uh, play a couple sets, you know, I don't need a five thousand dollar photograph on my cover to to get those gigs. Um, now you know how to sketch and don't be afraid to sketch. Ah, uh, this is another. This is another thing. Um, no, well, that's it. <laughs> um, good luck with your with your music, and don't forget that. Uh, <laughs> don't forget that 
the music and the art are two different things. Don't let one one thing get in the way. And yeah, enjoy enjoy your music. And this is the solution to not not being in a rut. You know, doing something about it, right? Doing something about it and finding a way to get through the the, the difficulty of having to pay somebody to to do this for you. So good luck and uh, see you guys in a different video.